Hey everybody, this is Jeremy and welcome to this latest edition of XR Remake. So today we're gonna do something a little different. Instead of just focusing on the various tools and shapes XR and recreating an application, we're actually gonna look at the process of ideating and brainstorming a design from scratch. And the ultimate goal of this training is to figure out user flow and spatial layout for a very specific VR application. So today we're gonna to look at an application called Occupational Safety and Health for Electricians, which was created by the really talented team over at Digital Engineering and Magic. It's available through the App Lab, so I encourage you to download it and try it out. It's a great example of how VR can be used for occupational and safety training. So what this app is, is a VR training experience for electricians. And you can see here what the actual build of the experience will look like. So how would a designer tackle a project like this, especially in the early phases of development? Now, to my knowledge, Shapes XR was not used in the design process for this particular application, but today we're just going to simulate what the initial brainstorming and ideation process might have looked like, starting from a hypothetical design document delivered to us by a client. So typically designers receive some form of a concept from their client. Sometimes the client knows exactly what they want, sometimes they have absolutely no idea. So as a designer, you're not just making cool looking menu interfaces, you're also figuring out things like workflows and intuitive interactions. And a lot of that is discovered through experimentation and trial and error, which makes using a rapid prototyping tool like Shapes XR so invaluable. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've taken the document the client sent us and I've extracted the learning objectives from them. And fortunately, they all broke down nicely into geographic locations. So there's five locations that users are going to teleport to in order to complete the training. So those spaces are a spawn point where they start, a PPE station, which is, stands for personal protective equipment, two circuit breakers, and a wall chart called a single line diagram. Uh, I also took uh, the training objectives and wrote out a little bit of a script for us to follow as we're building out our scene. So let's just run through that really quickly. Uh, users come into uh, the scene at the spawn point. This is where they're given instructions and introduced to the app. They then go to the PPE station where they collect their safety items. After that, they go to circuit breaker number one where they're gonna test uh, the circuit breaker with the ACD voltage tester that they got up here at the PPE station. After that, they go to the single line diagram so they can identify the location of the live circuit. On to circuit breaker number two where they'll turn the circuit off. Back to the PPE station where they'll retrieve a tag to mark the open circuit just so someone doesn't accidentally turn it back on. And then back to circuit breaker number two where they'll put that tag on the circuit and then on to circuit breaker number one where they'll complete the training. All right, so that's the basic flow. Let's go ahead and start building out our flow chart. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a panel for each one of these training stations. And then we're gonna color code those and correspond those to a, a tiny model, sort of a miniature version of the room that we're gonna build off to the side. So let's go ahead and start building out that flow chart. So I'm gonna come in here and just create a panel. And uh, since we have five stations, I am going to make five of these. And then I'm going to sort of move these over here. So they're kind of overlapping the script so we can kind of see things as we're going on. And uh, for this training, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna color code everything. So let's give each one of these a different color. All right, so let's go ahead and add some labels to these so we know what each one is. For now, I'm gonna lock these just so they don't move around. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unlock these because we're gonna use those panels for something else here in a moment. So let's go ahead now and build out our small model of the room. Come in here. And right now I'm not exactly sure what the room should look like. So I'm gonna start with a, just a pretty basic geometric shape here. You can always change things later. And then let's go ahead and add some walls. And I'm gonna leave this side of the room open just so that we can uh, see what we're doing here. Now, most of these stations in real life are gonna be positioned along walls. So we're not gonna really have anything in the center of the room. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our colored panels here and I'm going to 
duplicate those. And then I'm going to shrink those down and we're going to use these as uh, positions, uh, platforms uh, for where uh, the different stations will be located. And again, we can always change this later. So I'm just going to say that's our spawn point. This is going to be our PPE station. This is going to be circuit breaker number one. And this is going to be our single line diagram. And this will be our circuit breaker number two. So users will spawn into the room right here. And right now with this design, we've got everything along this side wall. Uh, so we're not taking advantage of the 360 space. Everything is, you know, actually looking kind of two dimensional and flat. Uh, so let's, let's get some of this stuff out so we can see it a little bit better. Um, so let's take the PPE station and let's move it over here to the left so that we have some things uh, happening uh, on both sides of this. So I'm going to take the PPE station here and I'm going to move it to right about there. I'm also going to lock the background here just so we don't move that on accident. So now when we spawn into the room, we've got something to our left. We've got things to our right. And then let's also take advantage of this back wall over here. I'm going to take circuit breaker number two. I'm going to put it along this side wall. So again, we're starting to open things up a little bit. And instead of just having users just make their way down the wall, I'm actually going to switch these two positions here just to kind of force users to move around in the room just a little bit more. All right. Um, we still need to uh, do something with this empty space. So since we've got our PPE station here, um, I'm envisioning like a, a wall right here. So let's go ahead and go back to our um, shapes here. And let's start to add just a little bit of dimension to our room. All right, so we've got a wall there. And then let's also, again, just add a little bit of production design. Let's the spawn point, let's actually have them come into the room on a little bit of a raised platform. So we'll take these here. I'm going to lower these into the floor just a little bit. And then I'm going to lock these elements here. I'm going to move that more to the center of that wall. And then I'm actually going to rotate this just to suggest the direction in which the character will spawn into the room. And then uh, just to add one more physical representation, I'm going to come in here and with, uh, with my transparency down a little bit, uh, I'm going to add something that will just represent the station. So we'll come in here. So we'll say that that's the PPE station. And then we'll use that same panel over here to correspond with these other elements. So that will be uh, the single line diagram, circuit breaker number one. And we'll make this circuit breaker number two. All right, so that's uh, that's looking pretty good. And then uh, let's go ahead and just for fun add a little bit more. Let's add some uh, elements here to the center. They can just stand in for just some electrical equipment. So now when we come into the room, we've got some dimensionality going on and some things to our right and left. I think we're looking good here. And then last but not least, I'm also going to add uh, a physical character to the room just so that we can start to see how these interactions will play out. So we'll say this is our character here and they spawn into the room in that direction. All right, so what we've just set up here is a basic design for the room. And again, this will just be our starting point. And we actually have our first position already marked on our model here. So our user will spawn into this space that corresponds with our start color here on our flowchart. And then just to keep everything um, consistent, I'm going to come in here. 
and I'm actually going to highlight this in red on our script. All right, so we actually have our first interaction done. We've color coordinated our script with our flowchart with our little dollhouse model here. And then I'm actually going to add just uh, an indicator here that that's the state that we're the stage that we're on. And uh, so let's go ahead now and move to the PPE station. So to do that, I'm gonna activate my stages menu and uh, this stage here, stage 11, I'm gonna duplicate that. So stage 11 and 12 are the same now. And on stage 12, we're going to now do the same thing with the PPE station. So let's go ahead and start by moving this character into position over here. I'll move that dot down here. And then let's also just, since we're doing a flow chart, let's just draw a line that that's where we're going next. And then now let's come in with our colors here. And let's highlight this portion of the script. All right, and we're just gonna continue doing the same thing. So after PPE, we'll go to uh, circuit breaker number one and so on and so on. All right, so we've got this uh, built out now. We've got a little bit of a flow chart, a uh, really quick, uh, simple model representation in our script. And so let's go ahead and go through it really quickly. So we start uh, in the red position here and then users go to the PPE station there. And then from there, they go to circuit breaker number one, which is located here. And then from circuit breaker number one, they go to the single line diagram, and then they go to circuit breaker number two. And then from circuit breaker number two, they go back to the PPE station to get the tag that they have to use to put on circuit breaker number two. So back to circuit breaker number two, and then finally back to circuit breaker number one. All right, so I went in and cleaned this up just a little bit so it looks a little bit more presentable to our clients. Don't have to do that, but uh, you know, you always wanna make a good impression with clients when you can. Uh, so I went ahead and I will go through the steps here, the start to PPE. I went ahead and just uh, took off all the highlights that aren't relative to uh, what we're actually talking about. Uh, so just the orange is highlighted now. I also added these five elements here on the PPE station, uh, representing the five safety items that users have to acquire while they're there. And um, yeah, so I think now we're able to um, show this to the client and hopefully get their approval. All right, after showing this to the client, we did discover one problem. Uh, we were informed that in the real world, this step six, this is not how this would happen. So users would not go back to the PPE station to retrieve the tag. Uh, we were told that the tag would be located somewhere near circuit breaker number two. So in this instance, we're actually gonna create a whole nother step. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the whole workflow here. You can see everything highlighted out here. You can see our flow, uh, but we needed to add another station. And so that's gonna be represented here in this flow chart. So we've added a station here, which I've colored fuchsia, this table right next to uh, circuit breaker number two. And this is where users will acquire the tag that they need to put on circuit breaker number two. Uh, so let's go back to our old flow really quickly. So originally, once users got to circuit breaker number two, they went to the PPE station to acquire the tag. They went back to circuit breaker number two and then to circuit breaker number one. In the new flow, uh, they go from circuit breaker number two to a whole new station back to circuit breaker number two, and then back to circuit breaker number one. All right, now that we have client approval and we know the basic flow of our training, we can go ahead and move on to the next phase of prototyping, which is a really important phase. And that's where we're gonna build out this model in a little bit more high fidelity. And we're also gonna do it at proper room scale. And then once that's complete and we've prototyped uh, out some of the interactions, uh, we'll give that to the client. And then once they approve that, we can hand that off to the developers and, uh, and move on to a final production. Uh, so let's go ahead now and start building out our full scale room. All right, so we've uh, fleshed out our prototype just a little bit more and uh, we've got this at uh, proper room scale, a little bit higher fidelity. So now let's just do something for fun. Let's prototype out one of the interactions. So let's come over here to the circuit breaker box. This is circuit breaker box number one. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually bring in 
our little scale model here in our flowchart so that we have an idea of what we're going to prototype out. And what I want to do is focus on this first visit to circuit breaker number one. So after the character has come from the PPE station, they teleport to circuit breaker number one, and this is where they're going to test the circuit to see if it's live. Uh, I also went ahead and just brought in a quick uh, panel here uh, to correspond with our colors, just so we know where everything is. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, start to prototype out these interactions. So I'm actually going to start right before uh, the character comes to Circuit Breaker 1. So we're going to start over here on uh, the PPE station. Uh, I also took the liberty of putting together some guys here with their PPE equipment already on. So I'm going to leave them back over here and we're going to use those uh, as we need them. So I'm actually going to start with this guy here. So I'm going to duplicate him and I'm going to bring him over here and put him by the PPE station. So I also have an orange panel here that we can put on the ground. And let's just go ahead and put him there. And since he has his PPE equipment already on, uh, this should uh, be off the wall. So let's just move that out of position. And so that's where we're going to begin. Now, I'm not for this demonstration, I'm not going to prototype out the teleportation system. So we're just going to use this as an indicator that that's where the character is coming from. So he starts the PPE station. This is our first interaction. So for the second interaction, I'm just going to activate the stages system up here and duplicate this stage. And then I'm actually going to bring this guy over here. I've already got these guys lined up, so that's why I'm kind of doing this quickly and we'll delete him. So we're on stage two now. So just really quickly to demonstrate, if I go back and forth between stage one and two, stage one, he starts over there. Stage two, he's now here. All right, so once the character teleports to this location, uh, a blue highlight appears around the door to suggest that the door should be open. So let's go ahead and duplicate this stage and let's create our highlight. So I'll select my blue color here and then let's just uh, go ahead and Draw this out. All right, and I'm going to snap that to the surface just so that it's flush with it. And that's pretty close, but let's go ahead and just tighten that up a little bit so it's around the edges of the door. All right, that looks good. All right, so the door highlights, and this is uh, to indicate that the door should be open. Let's move on to the next interaction. I'm going to duplicate this stage. And I'm actually going to just move this guy back here in case we need him again. And I'm gonna bring this guy up here to indicate that he is opening the door. Uh, so that's the next, next action. And then let's go ahead and duplicate the page. Let's get rid of the highlight and then let's open the door. Let's go ahead and do that. Bring this forward here, move it over. All right, so now the door is open. And just to add a little bit of variety, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this stage and move him back over here. And I'm gonna bring this guy in as though he's lowered his hands after the door's been open. And now at this point, uh, the user has to retrieve the AC-DC voltage tester from their tool belt and apply it to the circuit breaker to see if the circuit is live. Uh, so let's go ahead then and duplicate this stage. And I'm going to ungroup him, remove this object here. I'm gonna ungroup these, leader cable. And I'm gonna put a lead, one lead in each hand, just to suggest that he has retrieved this from his tool belt. And then just for fun, let's go in here and draw in another cable. All right, so he has retrieved the AC-DC voltage tester from his tool belt. Uh, and the next, he has to raise them up. So let's add another stage. And uh, for this, I'm gonna actually just delete this guy completely. And I'm gonna use this guy here. Bring him into position. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. Ungroup him, ungroup these. Put a lead in each hand. There we go. And then let's draw a new cable. And then when he raises up the uh, ACDC voltage tester, the ends of the leads highlight green, 
so that the user knows where to apply them. So let's go in now on this stage and highlight these green. Excellent. And I'm going to duplicate this here. And our, our guy isn't posable. So this is just a prototype. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, I'm going to take this lead here and apply it there. Delete my cable. Draw a new one. And then I'm going to duplicate this stage. Take this lead and apply it there. Create a new cable. And then once the user applies the leads to the circuit breaker, the highlights disappear. So let's go ahead now and duplicate this stage. And then let's just recolor these. Great. All right. So that means the mission has been accomplished. And then once that happens, uh, the user hears an audible beep sound that comes from the ACDC voltage tester. So I'm going to come in here, duplicate this stage, and then let's just really quickly, uh, just, we're just going to write out the word beep. All right, and then I'm going to make that just a little darker so we can see it. I'm just going to put that right here. All right, and then once that happens, a menu appears over here to the side to give the user instructions about what to do next. So once again, duplicate this stage, and then we're going to get rid of the beep on this stage. And then let's just create really quickly a menu here. And for this, I'm not even going to worry about... Uh, uh, the text. I'm just literally going to create a menu and before the client sees it, I'll probably add some text to it. But just for now, for the sake of time, let's just go ahead and keep this pretty simple. I'm going to group those together. Put that right there. All right. So let's go through our prototype now and see how it plays out. So let's go back to uh, stage one here. Uh, our user comes from the PPE station. They teleport to uh, circuit breaker number one, door highlight. User opens the door. They lower their hands. They uh, retrieve the ACDC voltage tester from their tool belt. They raise it up. The leads highlight so they know where to apply them. They apply each one. The highlight disappears, and they're given an audible beep sound to let them know that the circuit is live. And uh, then a menu appears, letting them know the action is complete and instructing them uh, what to do next. All right, so that's, uh, that's basically how you use the Shapes uh, Stages system to prototype out some interactions. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, everyone.